And welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fatal Frame 3. I'm still doing this. Put the red here. Put the blue here. Put the green there. Put the other green here. Nothing happened. Nope. So that means I put this one here. Put this one here. Nope. Put this one here. Put this one here. Ah! Nothing happened. Put this one here. <sighs> that one there, that one there. Nope. Aha! The handmaiden song resounds through the area, causing this to happen. The machine begins to move, and the suspended cell raises upwards. I should be able to enter the upper level. What? What upper level? Ah, oh, I thought it was going to bring the, the girl down. No, really, what upper level? Alright, so I guess I gotta go up somewhere. Alright, I'll play your game. <laughs> like, I care. Uh oh. Ah! Oh no! Duh, it's a tattooed woman. And she has many hands. Oh, I missed. Stay there. No. Don't think so. Aha! I got you. Damn it. Where the hell are you? There you are. She's very pissed off. Oh, why didn't that work? Stupid woman. I hate you, many hands woman. Whoa, what's wrong with my my camera? It's got hands on it. Stupid hand woman. Ah! Whoa, whoa. Where is she? Aha! No combos? Whoa! Out of my personal space, you. Ah, I see your pattern now. Take that! Chamber of Thorns, eh? Wait. Oh, is it time to wake up? <gasps> Yay! No more scary manner for the moment. But apparently the tattoo's not gonna bug... What? Miku's dream. Again. Shrive Maiden Girl. There is old film in the care obscure. We got more musty film. Hooray for musty film. So what bad things are going to happen here? Well, let's read our notes first. People. Shrine main girl. Um, the girl dressed as a shrine who tried to impale me in the, in the daydream I had inside the deserted house. Are they 
constantly impaling dolls in those small red rooms dotted around the manor? What about Amy? The name they kept repeating. Could that be the girl who was begging for help? I don't know. I don't think you know either, Ray. Let's go bug Miku. Miku, wake up. Oh my gosh, she's turned to a doll! That'd be funny, though. Miku. Miku. Meifu. Miku? Oh no, it's nothing. I just had another bad dream. Let's discuss it like normal people. Are they going to discuss it like normal people? What? It's daytime? What the hell? Make your mind up, game. Day or night. Closed. This game has no idea what time it wants it to be. Let's go develop that film first. Before I do anything else. Before Ray goes, well, it's been like four minutes. It's time to go to bed. No. Good morning, Ray. Morning, Miku. You want to talk about all the strange crap that's happening? No, I don't think so. I'm just going to stay in the kitchen and keep making Ray? stuff. Here. Ray, I was interested myself, so I did some research on that lullaby. Oh my god, we're getting research data now? You were interested in it too, right? Well, yeah, that's why I asked. So I give you this book. In the mountains of... Oh my god, 12 pages. In the mountains of the something region, there is an old lullaby that was only passed on to certain villages. The sleeping priestess verse. Sleep child, go to sleep. Sleep child, go to sleep. If you cry, the boat you'll ride. The boat to the other side. Once you get there, the... The bibi? Bibe? The bibe you shall wear... Bib you shall wear. And you will be punished should you fail to lie still. But go to bed or I'll beat you, kid. With the same mountain, with same mountain chain, the song "The Sleeping Priestess" was only transmitted to a certain number of villagers. You know, through radio. The dismension is the dismension is thought to be dependent on elements such as the village roads and location. Well, no kidding, it's kind of hard to, you know, go up a mountain to get to deliver the song. As the usage of the word priestess implies, this song is thought to have its origins in Indone bleh, indigenous folk rites, given its method of transmission, which is talking. As the ly lyrics themselves, the opening line, sleep child, go to sleep, calls the child into sleep. Well, no kidding. The next part, if you cry... The boat you'll ride. The boat to the other side uses words like boat. Wait, the boat to the side uses words like boat and the other side, which suggests which is, which is a which is suggestive of banishment. It can be taken as a sentence of a threatening song, which is to frighten the children to sleep because that's the best way to make children sleep, right? Scare the crap out of them. The bib you shall wear can be understood to depict you will be dressed up to go yes after after should you fail to lie still the in, the inclusion of farting words you will be punished um, impresses an emotion upon the child perhaps as the once ceremonial song changed into a lullaby it metamorphosized into a threatening song so common in the Mishu area the sleeping piece is verse 2 um, Pause the game for a sec. We'll continue reading this really cruddy song. <laughs> 